This is what we're making today. Woodland Dream. First, in a pan, we're going to throw in 250 milliliters of balsamic vinegar. I threw the vinegar into a hot pan to speed up the boiling process, but it's not a necessary step by all means. We're then going to reduce our vinegar reduction in half and add in half a cup of white sugar. We're going to give this a quick mix and reduce it in half again. Our original 250 milliliters of vinegar should have been reduced to under 100 milliliters. Just before your reduction hits its desired consistency, take it off the pan to avoid over reducing it. Once this cools down, it's going to thicken up even more. And this is our balsamic glaze. Next, we're going to do our vegetable cuts. All we need is a couple broccoli crowns and an inch of carrot. While I peel my carrot, this is where I remind you to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for new videos. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button, it's at the bottom right of your screen. And guys, if you want to support by helping fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. Every dollar helps me get a little closer to my dream. Alright, so this is a steak cut of a black cod. You can still see the spine bone right in the middle and the belly bones right on the side. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the meat off before we cook it. And the reason why we're taking the meat off before we cook it is because if we cook it and then take the meat off, the fish will flake off. So to avoid the fish from breaking, we're going to take the meat off before we cook it. So from this one steak cut, we should get four fillets from each quadrant. And these are our four fillets. Next, we're going to season our fish generously. We're going to make sure we get all sides. And guys, don't be too afraid about over seasoning your fish because when you put it in the pan, you're going to lose most of that seasoning. Now, in a smoking hot pan, we're going to lay our fish down gently. It's very important that the pan is smoking hot or your fish will stick later on. Once we've laid down all our fish, we're going to turn the heat down to medium low and cook it for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, the bottom side should have caramelized. If the fish is not coming off the pan easily, don't force it, just leave it. Let the pan do the work. As the fish caramelizes and contracts, it will take itself off the pan. Once we've achieved our golden brown caramelization, we're going to throw in a nub of butter. As the butter melts, we're also going to squeeze in a quarter of a lemon. And we're going to finish this off by basting our fish with our butter lemon. This took a total of 5 minutes to cook. We're going to temporarily put our fish aside to rest while we cook our vegetables. Next, we're going to season a pot of boiling water. Then we're going to throw in our mushrooms, our carrots, our broccoli, and our beans. We're going to cook our vegetables off for about 3 minutes except for the carrots. After 3 minutes, we're going to pull all our vegetables out and cook the carrots for another 2 minutes. And the reason why we're cooking the carrots longer is because it's a root vegetable and it takes much longer to cook all the way through. Once all our vegetables are done cooking, we're going to throw in another nub of butter, season it generously with salt, give it a toss, and then now let's get ready to plate.
Alright, so as you guys can see, it was a very simple dish to make. Unfortunately, the fish is a little dry because it sat out for 30 minutes from the moment it left the pan. But it was definitely delicious because of the butter and the seasoning. As for the vegetables, I mean, they're boiled vegetables with butter and salt. It's pretty hard to go wrong with that. And if you guys have never made this before, learn how to make a balsamic glaze. This is a great sauce to learn and easy to do that you can put on a lot of things. Anyways, that's my take on Albedo's Woodland Dream. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. And guys, again, if you want to help support fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar.